This one wants to know the solution to this system of inequalities. We're going to take one inequality at a time. So y is less than or equal to negative x. That's got a slope of negative 1 and a y-intercept of 0. That means it's this line. And if you have y is less than something or y is less than or equal to something, it's always going to be shaded below. So that means that we're talking about sections R and S for this one. OK, let's move on to the next one. So if you divide everything by 2, you're going to end up with a positive slope and a positive y-intercept. That means we're talking about this line. Anytime it's greater than or greater than or equal to, you're shading above it. So this one is talking about sections R and Q. The solution is where they overlap. In this case, that's section R. Here's another system of inequalities. We'll just do one at a time. So here we've got a positive slope and a positive y-intercept. We just sort of sketch that ourselves, something like this. And it's greater than or equal to. That means that it's shaded above. This one, maybe we can just rewrite it really quickly. So 3y less than or equal to negative 2x plus 6. Divide everything by 3. And you're going to get y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 2. So that's a negative slope and still a positive y-intercept. So it's going to be something like this. And this time it's less than or equal to, so it's shaded below. That means we're looking for something that just has this area shaded where there's overlap. And you can see that's b. In this system of inequalities, they want to know which quadrant contains no solutions. So we're just going to graph each of them ourselves. We'll start with this one. It's got a positive slope, positive y-intercept, so something like that. And it's greater than or equal to, so this one's hitting the first, second, and third quadrants. This next one also has a positive slope, but it's a little bit more gradual, and it hits at negative 1. We have to make this one dotted because it's only greater than, not greater than or equal to. But this one is going to hit all four quadrants. Now, the thing is, in order for it to be a solution, it's got to work for both. That means that we're interested in this area right here. And that area does not include quadrant four, so the answer is C. Number 24 is another system of inequalities. It refers to this graph that they irritatingly put on a different page, but anyway, they want to know which of the following systems of inequalities best describes the region where this thing can form. So this region is less than or equal to this line and greater than or equal to that line. So you can eliminate any answer choices where the signs are going in the same direction. It can't be A, because those are both greater than or equal to. It can't be D, those are both less than or equal to. So looking at B and C, you can see that the second inequality is the same for both. That means we can just focus on the first inequality, the one that's less than or equal to. So that's this line. And I can see that the slopes are different for those two. So I'm just going to calculate the slope and then hope to get the answer that way. So I'll do y minus y, 1 minus 0.38 over x minus x. That gives me 0.62 over 295. And if you use your calculator, you'll get something like 0.0021. That means it's b.